The debate continues today after Tennessee joined 10 other states to sue the federal government. This has to do with the so-called bathroom bills that require students to use certain bathrooms. And as our Cuthbert Langley shows us, both supporters and opponents are looking forward to the results of this lawsuit. You can see it and hear it. Support for the so-called bathroom bill still holds in Tennessee. As pastors, we were extremely concerned about the privacy and the security issues of our, of our, our students and our children in Tennessee. Members of the Tennessee Pastors Network joined to applaud the state's decision to sue the federal government. Tennessee and 10 other states have sued over a directive requiring that public schools allow students to use bathrooms they identify with. He's there to enforce the law and not to make law. Representative Mark Pody has promised to fight the Obama administration on the issue. He says it needs to be up to the states to decide how to police bathrooms. No, this isn't right. Uh, what, what might be right for uh, New York City or, or California isn't right here, and we want to stand for what we believe here in Tennessee. It's getting mixed up in issues of so-called states' rights. Transgender rights activists, however, say Tennessee's decision to sue may be a good thing. By taking this to court in such a high profile way, it may be that we get final resolution on some of these issues more quickly. Still, these supporters say something needs to pass in order to continue protecting students. Our kids need to be learning, okay? They don't need to be fearing going into restrooms. I've spoke with teachers, I've talked to teachers, and the children are in fear of this. Some Republicans did want to hold a special session, but now that this lawsuit has been filed, they say there is no need to hold a special session this summer to talk about the bathroom bill. In downtown Nashville tonight, Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5. And in just the last hour, the Tennessee Democratic Party released a statement blasting the Republicans, saying, quote, people don't want to talk about bathrooms. They want to know why they can't afford health insurance, why traffic is so terrible, and why housing costs are out of control. We need better leadership in Nashville.